Hi there and welcome back to Economic Persia. We're role-playing this and Shahanshah Ibrahim I as an architectural visionary and well-connected. Um, he uses his advisors to gain more points for more buildings and his wife is keeping the peace with her diplomatic skill and also great administrative skill. Keeping to the law at all times. So she's pretty legalist. I have to look around where we can invest again. And we can see that textile manufacturers will be a great investment here in Moulton. So let's take that. Plantations. Wow, plantations are also great. And ooh, we have Rajab Ali Ansari, controversial protectionist. Is that, is that one of our leaders? Yes, here, our trade advisor. Since Rajab Ali Ansari started providing advice for the trade developments in Persia, internal trade has been strengthened at the cost of curtailed imports and increased trade regulation. And while their decisions to improve infrastructure have been appreciated, recent suggestions have caused many influential people to question their philosophy. They argue that the Shah and Shah is taking Rajab Ali Ansari's advice too readily, that we should look for mutually beneficial deals with other nations rather than seeking to dominate every area of trade. No, we want to, we want to dominate, come on. Rajab Ali Ansari's thinking has helped us so far. So far. Really far. Now we want to build more plantations. Trade stations? No. Farm estates? Oh, farm estates are getting better too. Military technology. Mm, we shouldn't do that yet. We should probably. I mean, the couple wouldn't take a, a military idea, even though I'd really love to go for the offensive idea. So mm, there's that, right? We want to invest uh, some administrative power, probably diplomatic power, into states and then improvements and stuff so we'll use the military power to basically gain and gain more influence um i mean gain more manpower this way was it and yeah. razuji melicates Lange Shushtar Ganja could cook, and there we go. Look for greater improvements. Farm states, I think it was the plantations that were so great. In BAM, for example. Yeah, and the farm estate, Tunis wants something. Oh, we'll just say yes. Farm estate in Melikates and then in Ezruru, maybe. Not getting so much income. I mean, it's really not efficient, but these have other qualities to these um, buildings. They can get some events going to. That's why it's good to invest in them, but not in a return of investment thinking. Administrative, more administrative technology, the rights of man. We could go for that. We could also wait because it only gives another idea group that we don't need and don't use at the moment. So, we could found more states now. What states would we like to have? Probably Lahore would be a good state. it was somewhere here yes 
Lahore. That means still 50%. So it would be good to go for a centralization effort here. And then make all the calls. Look for another good state. Let's see. Bulk. Where is bulk? Yes, bulk. Yeah, that's also good. Bulk is up here. Still has 50% autonomy. And uh, centralization effort. Call everything in bulk. Is the autonomy back down now? I mean, that's interesting. Let's have a look. Yeah. Hmm. Because of the territories. Okay, okay. Then need to remove this too in Lahore. Well then. What more can we invest? Look at that accounting house in Lahore. Wow. Let's count on that. And in CL Court. Great stuff. Great stuff. More counting houses. Not so much. The Great Mosque, though. In C1 might be good. Might be good. Skills of the Khanum. Ever since Atya arrived at court, she has taken a great interest in the administrative affairs of Persia. It's reached a point where the Khanum has become something of an authority over matters relating stuff and running a castle, trusted not only by the Shah and Shah himself, but the nobility in general. Rarely has the Empire seen such efficiency. She is a blessing. Trust your neighbor. Although citizens are encouraged to show trust and good faith in their exchanges, the reality in many nations is that's a risk. People cannot afford to take this, however, is not the case in Persia. We've successfully stemmed out corruption on so many levels in society. People not only trust officials who do their jobs without the extra help of a bribe, they also trust each other more in general exchanges. This general belief in the honesty of others is, very, is the very thread from which the fabric of society is woven, and our country is a shining example of it. Oh, very cool. State maintenance goes down, and our income goes up massively. A dream for our administrators. Let's get the costs down more too. Always looking for that uh, for that bargain here. Somewhat still good probably and we can purchase another ability, let's see. Naval engagement, mm, unrestricted conquest, loyal subjects or anti-revolutionary anti zeal. That will bring us most naval engagement. Even though we have nothing naval really, <laughs> it's still okay, it's still okay. We can make one more state, by the way. And we want to do that in Morgostan. I mean, we could put it in there, or we can just click around. Yeah. Very good. How is it doing now? Will that go down? No. Okay, so Morgostan gets centralization efforts. And, oh, yeah, we want to do call, right? <sighs> we wanted to call more. Now we have called everything. We need Kalat too. Then we'll go to Abd Alim. 
Good. Call that as well. We still have it open, right? Kalat. I think they should be good. We could give them. I don't know. What would be nice? Protecting trade is almost always pretty good. And then we have Dofa. Let's look there. Give them that as well. Corridor. And what's happened here? Estates demand control of provinces. All right, let's see. Do we have something here in Dufa? Well, these coastal provinces should have a lot of manpower in theory. At least a lot of supply limit. We'll give them Wusta. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give the Amirs Worcester. Are they happy now? Yes, they are. We can go for more, one more state, I think, and that would be Al Yama. -ma. Oh, we're we're already there. We're already there. Core it. Where was it now? Yeah. Current development, that's also good. I actually want to encourage development here. Abd al Karim Mirza, the wealth of nations was the first great work in political economy and the cornerstone of what later became known as laissez faire. Abd al Karim Mirza has introduced the concept of the invisible hand, the intrinsic ability of a system of perfect liberty to control itself and still give rise to an orderly society through the mechanism of competition. Mm. These efforts will be admired throughout the nation. Pretty good. Our stock exchange is going. Kirk Cook needs a stock exchange. Need more power like that too. Counting house in Kalat. Koch's no longer our rival. Counting houses, though, will make sense. Barat, yes. Yeah, treasury is growing, and our income too, and our power too, so... We're happy to have that here. What more can we do here? Look at that old oh, Lahore. What a manufactory. Military technology. Where should we invest it in instead? I mean, that's a good question, right? We could develop more and more. That's also something. Mm. We could definitely develop more. Nah, 
yeah, that's just it's laughable how how good this is all economically at the moment. We have a lack of officer. <sighs> In order to give a sizable professional army efficient, a sufficient number of trained officers are required to carry out the orders and will of the crown. However, the increased demand on quality leadership is not matched by the number of officers on our roles. Increased demands on quality new officers also take longer to train and are harder to recruit. We'll increase the recruitment then. And a holy person has arrived. A person from a holy order arrived at court today, impressed with our harsh but just and godly punishment of heretics and unbelievers ask for an advisory position, stating that an empire that prays together will stay together. We'll think about this. Skill 2 Theologian? Hmm. I don't know. Not holy enough, we'd say. And uh, we'll make a short pause here. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Kahn signing out. Have a great time. Until next time.